Okay, the viewers are one uh, viewer requested to do a rundown of this Powertrain VFT. It's going to be a quite a um, complex video, this one. As I said, this uh, VFT is actually a little bit more complicated to set up compared to the Huan Yang one. It doesn't smell as bad anymore. The China smell is going away in that one. Yeah, I've also found this um, Powertrain one has a slow response time, but at least it start, uh, um, it boots up quicker, it starts up quicker. Maybe instantly it boots up. Yeah, it boots up instantly. This near boots up after five seconds. The parameters are pretty slow to respond. Now when I want to get to the other um, group of parameters here, it's kind of difficult. Set should get you to the other set of parameters. There you go. O, H, U, E, C, B, Y. There were our main parameters, uh, parameters in there. And each set of letter is another set of parameters within that one. And when I go into a parameter, it's actually quite a slow to respond. For example, I go on A. There's about 50 or so in there. I set a perimeter to go into that one, and I want to set it. I want to get it. Uh, I think you hold the set button down. And it actually takes a while for it to process that and um, uh, set that perimeter. I find it's a bit slow for that, but overall, it's quite a good quality VFD. Quite a lot more um, solidly built than this one. And it doesn't smell. You got the up buttons, the frequency set, the multi-function buttons. I find they're difficult in their own the process the program, but I'll leave them with up and down speed for now. Just like these ones here on this VFD. I would have preferred to use this one, but I think I might just eventually get some good potentiometers. Proper beefy um switchboard potentiometers that is. And then program them that way instead of just wearing these buttons here. It's easy just to use external uh, controls. So we're going to set forward. No reverse button. I have to program that separately and this is the reverse button. I tried to do it with one of these ones, but it didn't seem to um, set that parameter. There's a couple of other things I've got to do. So it's not quite as easy as this one. So it's quite a um, professional VFD, not more complex. You hold it down, it should get faster, and it steps to this one and gets to that one, so to speak. Back to the default one, then we'll go back up to the next one, then count by tens. Gets faster. The turbulent sound, the fan, starts to squeal. Yeah. And you hold those to then lock the perimeters in so you don't um, mess it up. So this other perimeter is in here. You've got to get out of that to get back into the, uh, like this one, the frequency display. There you go. That must be the RPM. That's the RPM. 4,600. Set the up in that way. Oh, yeah. 12,100 RPM. As I said, I haven't programmed the motor, I have not set the parameters for that motor into this um, drive. I'll see if the taco registers it without the um, tape on it. Stick the taco on it, see how uh, accurate this uh, drive is. Turns out a lot easier now. Oh look, who it is, it's Whiskers. Hey cat. Yeah, you smart little cat. You're a smart ass, aren't you? Hey? Look at this cat. You smart ass, huh? Yeah, you little shit. Don't piss on my stuff, alright? You piss on my stuff, I kick your ass.
Cause it's not hard to clean and it stinks. Hey? Eh? You're not pissing in your cat for hit a bit. You little smart ass. Every time I come on here, yep, whiskers here, he wants to come in. You love this place, don't you, eh? Hey? He's more than your man cave, eh? You're not pissing here, though. I might let you piss in here. He's happy. He's very happy. It's good to see he's back to his old self again. Cat's doing quite well now. Despite the um, age, he's got his extra doing very well. He's eating well. Drinks well. Put, actually put weight on. If he was starting to lose weight and not eating, then you're in trouble. But he's not doing that. He's actually eating quite well. Like how it was before, say. We mustn't have a very bad form of AIDS, thankfully. He could kitty, aren't you? And the, uh, there was a big black and white, or grey and white feral cat that kept attacking this cat, and that was a cat that gave him AIDS. Well, that cat's now been killed. He got shot, so we took care of that bloody thing. All for whiskers. So the feral cat that attacked him is gone. We killed it. Finally. After all this bloody time. So up this because that feral bastard that attacked is being killed, alright? Right? Alright, back to this. Oh whiskers, that tripped me up. You might get scared, whiskers, alright, I'll set this thing going. Do a test. I see the works without a tape. Not very accurately. 18,000 RPM. Yeah, it's not reflecting very good, see? Yeah, it's not reflecting very good because all that shaft's continuously polished, so when it hits the, um, the keyway for the Woodruff key to go in, it creates a false reading. So in there, on that shaft, it's somewhat reflective as well, so it's like, it's like getting a true register. But the parameters are not programmed in properly, so I've gone too high on the frequency. Slowed the that the... Yeah, the, the rotor slowed down. But as I said, this does have a verse. To set that perimeter, it's a lot more than harder than that one. Slows down. It's faster. And <laughs> slows down. Yeah. This drive here is good. A lot better built than this one. But you have to be a lot more experienced. So I'm, I'm getting there slowly. I've somewhat got the gist of it. So I think it's best if I um, set the uh, external switch commands. That'd be the best thing for it, because I can leave these in here, out of the dust, out of the, uh, out of, yeah, out of the dust, and I can just run legs to them, to my motors outside, and just press the button on the remote, and just turn a potential one that way. The external controls are the way to go. Because as I said, if I wear these buttons out, I have to replace this whole front part to replace the, the keypad. Same with this one, you have to pull this whole front thing here off and plug the new one in. This one doesn't have that. This whole front part has to come off. And you have to replace this whole front module to replace this keypad. So it's best to go external on this one. Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Hey, Whiskers. Thanks for watching.